welcome back to YMGP playing Call of Cthulhu part 9. I think we are beginning to see a lot more of the uh, evil stuff that is happening on this uh, place in Darkwater. And Dr. Fuller is definitely one of the main culprits of, uh, of all the things that is happening. We return as uh, our detective has uh, read in a book covered in human skin and was uh, projected into another uh, person, and uh, that was Dr. Colton. So we're back at the Institute, and now we need to get into Fuller's office and expose his schemes by getting some records of the patients that he's doing all his stuff on. So let's delve right into An it. unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Yeah, you're turning, my friend. Mrs. Sanders? What is she doing here? Why did nobody tell me about her admission? The file described the state of which Irene Sanders entered the Riverside Institute, as well as the treatments administered to her. Fuller added a handwritten note. He re recommends uh, to take her down to the psychiatric wing in order to provide her with a quiet and rest that she needs. Hmm. I wouldn't go down there if I were you. He's in pain. Hay fever. What's he doing here? What's up with this dude? He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? What did you see there? Nothing, nothing at all. The floor was all rotten, and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Okay. I'll just sleep a bit more. Hmm. Uh, what is this? More medicine? She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Probably by restoring it with something else. What is the boiler room key doing here? No the key take it. to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Hmm. Can't you grab it? The key to the boiler room. Nope. Not where I expected to find it. Okay. The key to the boiler room. Yeah, close to... Not where okay. I expected to find it. Something growing in this uh, drawer. Okay. Now what's up with this? Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Yeah, probably those fumes of oil. Dr. Colden? So you didn't want to speak, okay? Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Well, he seems to be sleeping now. Do we 
have here? Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Those basement brutes tied him up too tight, and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some high rank bitch slapping going on here. Pardon my French. Oh my god. Calm down, Colden. We don't mess about in this character. But there was somebody out here we could talk to. Let's see. What do you have to say? Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Okay. Now, what are we feeding them? Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. That's not good. There's nothing else out here? Okay. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Okay. You can pause the video if it was too fast. Bathroom men. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Now, who are you talking to? It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Okay. Elizabeth, you all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Hmm. Sure doesn't seem like a happy working environment. Okay. Hmm. 
nothing else here. What's this? Administration? I'm guessing we're gonna get uh, more of those audio files or cylinders. Okay, do we have anything on any of these desks? We have a book here. The reference book of medical science. Doesn't really look like a happy place outside either. Mary Donovan, head nurse. Now who do we have here? I have little time for you, doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Okay, so you are the... Wait a minute, where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Of course you will. Okay, so we need to cut off the water and distract her. Thomas Fuller. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Yeah. And there's a guard here or something? Boiler room. The door to the boiler Ooh. room is locked. Yeah, the key Where was... Where did I see that key? Ah, oh, yes. The office in block B. So this is the reception. Now who do we have here? Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Okay, do we want to go with that? We're a master at psychology. Let's go for that. You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. True that. It's a quiet little town. <laughs> Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... Yeah, just out of the blue, <laughs> talking like that. Okay, so the key was in here at the desk. The key to the boiler room. All yes. I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Now, do you have anything? Dr. Colden. Okay. Can we go behind the desk just to make sure there's nothing here? What is this? Ooh. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. 
Yeah, of course he does. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Thank you. I'll be going. What's this? This man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? This file is strangely, uh, staggeringly incomplete, and the detail on treatment is not given. It does not respect uh, standard practices. Oh no, what has he done? What has he done to our detective? Let's hope it's not too severe. Storage room. Let's just check that out. Maybe there's something Sorry, in Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Let's not take anything then. <laughs> Surgical ward. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Not even for a doctor. Okay. Okay. Let's quickly close the door. So we need to turn the water off. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Now, where could such a tool be? There's lots of tools right here. There's not any one of those. Find a tool. Okay. Let's see if we can find a tool. Maybe the storage room is now accessible. <laughs> I am clever. Yes. There we go. Just turn it, Marie. All the way. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Oh, yes. So let's go and talk to her and tell her the water is off. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Okay, then we use the nurse to do it. And the bath. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Yes, hold your tongue. She's already gone. At last. The missing files must be hidden here. Let's see if we can find them. The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Where do you hide stuff? Inside the ship? Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Yeah, they of course need to be rotated. Oh. I've unlocked something. There we go. Patient files. I was right. This cylinder was hidden inside Fuller's office. Okay, let's quickly play that. Now 
Now let's get to the bottom of this. Conclusions? Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Yes? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Oh no. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I read that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It's fortunate that I have the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Is that Sarah lay laying here? Okay. Now what do we miss? Here we go. A shoe. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Burnt shoe. Let's leave the reconstruction. I must go back to the basement. Yes. I should go another way. So, psychiatric uh, uh, wing, here we come. That's the exit, and here's the reception, and where was it that you walked down? Were you done on the toilet? Okay, so nothing in there. Let's see. Administration, bathroom, and what did we have down here? Oh, this is just changing area. Okay. Pharmacy. There's Dr. Fuller. Can we go through this now? The operating room is no. never accessible after an operation. Mm -hmm. Where was the stairs down to the basement? There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. Yeah, of course. Just checking, just checking. It's not in B. Kitchen. Okay, you're just... Yeah, perfect. Must be here somewhere. Oh, here we go. What's this? Okay, that's just the way. Okay, basement. Yeah, 
Williams was here. We saved Pierce, I believe. Or at least down these stairs he, were, he came out. Okay. That should, that should actually be just uh, enough for you not to work here. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh no. If you're gonna shoot me. At least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Oh, Dr. No. Cole. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Yes. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. And this is where the part nine of uh, Call of Cthulhu ends here on YMGP. I thank you guys so much for joining me and uh, let's hope that we make it in time and save Dr. Colton in episode number 10. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.